Welcome to the World Summit on the Information Society 2016 in Geneva, Switzerland. And I'm delighted to be joined by Madeleine Scherb, who's president of the Health and Environment Programme exactly. in Switzerland and Cameroon. Yeah. And you're from Cameroon. I'm from Cameroon. I'm married to Swiss, so I'm living in Switzerland, <laughs> Geneva. Excellent. And uh, you told delegates here at the WISIS Forum a wonderful story about how when you were growing up in Cameroon, the yeah. internet really helped you see the world. Yes. Uh, when I was in Cameroon, uh, I have made an abstract and I was invited in Kenya to present my abstract in the United Nations Environmental Program. It was my first time to go there because I use internet to send my abstract. And uh, with, my, with, uh, with my abstract also I was involved uh, with another uh, people with networking. They invited me uh, to South Africa. I went to, uh, to Senegal also, to Botswana, to Lesotho. And yesterday I spoke about my own experience to, to show how my, my life changed with internet because uh, when I went uh, to Lesotho, for example, I met uh, friends there, uh, people who become friends now, uh, but I didn't, they didn't have emails that time. So uh, if they have that email in 2000, uh, maybe now in 2016, I can't, uh, I can't uh, communicate with them without emails. Uh, I don't know, uh, I think it's not uh, easier to, to communicate. So yesterday I was very happy to say about that experience uh, and I've, get, I've got. And indeed, and now you've actually returned to your roots and you're helping young Cameroonians exactly. use the internet. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so uh, in Cameroon, in Douala, in Ecole Emergence, uh, we gave them uh, some materials, book how to use internet. And uh, we have another school where we are involving. And we want also them to learn. So they are very happy to receive materials education. To, uh, to know how to use, how to create an email address, how to use internet in their life and to build their future. Because we think that they are very young and why not to give them that uh, teach now? So we intervene many times also by e-learning in, uh, in, uh, in internet uh, to communicate with them also. And your program is not only about e-learning, but also about health too. Exactly. So in health, uh, we, we are accredited. We have a permanent status in, uh, at WIPO, what intellectual property organization. And uh, at this uh, way, we want to help uh, them to understand how to protect their traditional knowledge. We want to say to them that they have a big uh, background with the the, the remedies, how the trees can help people to be in their good health. So they have to use these trees, but they don't have to divulgate all the information uh, without knowing that this information are important to protect. So we then them how to share uh, to, to, to the, the how sharing of the benefits of traditional knowledge uh, uh, can be important for the both parties, those who are going to them for research and them who are the owners of the traditional knowledge. And of course there's so much traditional knowledge because Cameroon is well known as an environmental hotspot. Mount Cameroon, I was there and there was a ah, bark so of a tree yeah. uh, which was actually used to help treat prostate cancer oh, treatment yeah, so it's see? obviously a real resource in Cameroon uh, yeah, all we of this have, traditional knowledge exactly we have a lot of resources in Cameroon it's a big country and so uh, we have a lot of tradition and uh, Mount Cameroon as you said is very known and Yes, we want people uh, to, to raise the awareness on these issues, health and environmental issues, uh, intellectual property to, to, to strengthen the, another NGOs in Cameroon to strengthen them to understand better what this means uh, intellectual property, how to protect, how to promote, in which way, who are the owners, who are the beneficiaries, how to share the advantages. 
Yes. Madeleine Charb, yeah. President of Health and Environment, Environment Programme in Switzerland and Cameroon. Thank you very much for joining us. I appreciate us. your invitation and uh, very, I'm very happy to speak with you. <laughs> and do join us on the ITU YouTube channel for more interviews with experts from the world of information and communication technology at the WISIS Forum 2016.